Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you meet me for the first time and today we are talking about pre-production packs or forms or documents, stuff that you need before you actually get your production on. And I'm talking about short films, documentaries, mini docs, you know, YouTube videos, stuff that we make every day and share on YouTube for free. In this video, we're going to talk about why you need to stop that and step up the game. Coming up. <sighs> Thank you guys for being here and taking a look at this video. Um, I've always wanted to say something about this, but... Uh, I always felt that my channel was too small to make any difference, but I guess I gotta do it at some point. The information is still gonna be relevant for a long time, so I might as well just get it over with. Check this out. What if you do end up making a really, really great video that, let's say for example, Netflix wants like, some people don't know this happens. Things like this happen. People get called. People get called by agencies that can get you on Netflix just for doing a short film that is off the hook, that can get you on, you know, some platform that could make you money, that can get you on some film festivals. But guess what? They're going to ask for these papers. And if you don't have it... What I'm trying to say in this video is treat every production that you make, treat it like it's it could be the bomb it could be the neck your next big thing it could blow you up um with a lot of um, challenges going on short films you know especially during this time stay at home time creators that's why i thought about making this thing now because um creators are making epics like cinematic clips and uh, sequences and you know some things that are like even filmmakers will say wow you know Thoughtful processes are being displayed in cinematic and I mean real good picture quality cameras with our sophisticated and new readily available affordable gears that we have today. These things are more possible and a lot of people have skills. You share it free, but it's what more than that. It's it's it could change your life. It could, you could have that clip that, you know, the world will beat for. I mean, literally, hold a, a, a conference where millionaires will come and beat for your short film to have it, like buy it off you or your clip that you, for some reason, you never know. These are things that are, I mean, possible right now. Content creation may be the gold of the future it can it can make you from freelancer today into a, a full-fledged filmmaker a millionaire filmmaker for that matter just because of one piece you shared online i mean in school they gave us an example of someone who shot a film and one of the locations they did shoot was at the universal studios now you i have been to universal studio myself and I'm sure you guys have been. While you were there, you made a video. A lot of people do that. Everyone does that. I have a clip of my, me and my family right there, okay? And so many other Magic Mountain, you know, stuff like that. Wherever you go, tourist centers and stuff like that. You are allowed to take pictures with our little cameras, GoPros, DSLRs that are very good quality. You know, we can hide. We know how we're all stressed on that. I just want to sneak in there, man, and, and get my stuff. And nobody knows that this is a 6K camera. And we take, get it out and we're gone. We put it on YouTube. But sometimes you wouldn't even have to pay if you take permission. Now for Universal Studios, however, <laughs> you would have to pay. It's for free <laughs> if you're not doing anything with it. YouTube video, all right. But if you put it on a production like this guy did, it was, it was good, but they did not take permission for that clip. They said, 
This film is so wonderful. Just get us the paperwork and we'll be ready. And he had paperwork, funny enough, for all other locations, if I can remember clearly, but Universal. And they said, uh, what about the documents for Universal? And he said, no, they allowed us free. Ladies and gentlemen, he lost the deal. They walked away. In, in fact, they didn't want to see him again. You know, it would have been better he did the shot somewhere else that looked similar and paid for that or took permission for that and uh, and stay off the trouble. Or my friend's house. I used my friend's house. My, he's my friend and there's no problem. But surprise, when you are in money, that same friend could come up and say, I wasn't paid for this for this uh, location. You ripped me off. You didn't pay me. Ladies and gentlemen, you will pay and it wouldn't be the same money you paid. You would have paid if he has charged you back in the days. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be um, 500 bucks. He already got a lawyer so you'll be settling real good. For example, I did um, get another um, I watched another interview of a documentarian who is a professional who got into a story, wrote a document, um, me shot a documentary. Uh, it was emotional, and the guy, you know, he talked the guy into making the video, made him comfortable, took time, and finally the guy was at the place where he was ready to share. And he said, uh, in his mind, bringing up the issue of signing documents now wasn't really. You know, we'll, we'll strike up some calls, some fears. Contracts make people uncomfortable, really. So he did it, he shot his first documentary without signing with the talent. And guess what? When he got his, um, the opportunity he was looking for, uh, when he got the deal he wanted and um, they asked for the document, he came back to this guy because he knew he would need it, he would need it. He came back to this guy and like, um, yeah, well, we need to sign this document now. The guy said no, he didn't want to sign. And then he got uh, got a call from the lawyer, I think. And then the lawyer said, if you want us to sign, you have to pay so so and so. And the money was ridiculous. But the film was already shot and ready, and offer was made for the production, and he he had to cough it up. Now. It would have been better, he said, sign this contract for me before, prior, pre the production. And if this guy had said, I wanted money, it would have been way cheaper. If he, if he needed to, you know, it would have been way cheaper. We don't want to be caught up in all those mess. People could get greedy. Now, if you don't know, permits include um, releases, um, permit for locations and um, and releases for the actors like talent release you know the model that you take the pictures of they are talent um the locations um you need permits um or agreements documents that show that you took permission and you need it needs to be from the actual talent or when they are younger like kids from their parents. When it's a location, you need to get it from the owner or authorized representative of the owner, you know, that, you know, can stand in court. If you just get into the habit of doing it, it is a lot safer. Especially if you're paying them anyway, then it's your double, you know, secured to go ahead and get the paperwork for them. Stock footage companies will not accept your videos without the proper releases from this talent. Especially in this country, in America, it's the time of your life where you are like, God, I'm gonna make this big break. And all of a sudden, you are gonna share your big break. Um, even you, in your production, you do provide, you do get to sign, release on you and your crew, the filmmakers that were on board. You get to sign a release on the production that you did. Two things you must know about a location. You sign for location agreement, and then when it is done, sign for a location 
release. The release says, I checked everything that was in this space. Excuse me. The release will state something like, having done this production, this production date, um, I checked, we examined. You, you will have to prepare the stuff. All they have to do is sign. All right. So it would have, it would say, I checked on all the location. We finished the uh, production has been done peacefully and all that. And I have inspected the location and nothing is out of place. Everything is intact. There's nothing to fix. And if there is, it has been fixed and paid for and no problems whatsoever. I hereby release Mr. So so and so and your production company from every you know future um claims of stuff like that so thank you guys for watching um if you're if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button it so we can you know reach out to more people share with every filmmaker every youtuber you know i'll see you guys in the next video peace